solve one problem on decision making under the conditions of risk by following two criterions first expected monetary value emv criterion second expected opportunity loss eol criterion given question is a newspaper boy has the list of number of copies sold with probability for a selling of magazine cost of a copy is 30 paise and sale price is 50 paise he cannot return unsold copies how many copies should he order this question was asked in the exam of ca november 1979 In given question, number of copies sold is mentioned with probability. So, number of copies sold is given for ten copies. Probability is zero point twenty five. For eleven copies, probability is zero point thirty five. And for twelve copies, probability is zero point forty. And we have to find out how many copies should be ordered by the newspaper boy. So, we have to consider the number of copies should be ordered for the maximum possible profit so for that we will first calculate or here first we will prepare the conditional profit table and how to decide the number of copies should be ordered by the newspaper boy so for that we have to calculate expected monetary value now we will first understand how to find out the conditional profit so for that if we observe the question for one copy purchase cost is given 30 paise and for one copy selling price is also given 50 paise so for each copy or we can say each sold copy profit is equal to 20 paise but what about unsold copy so when the copy will be unsold then newspaper boy cannot return so here the cost of purchase that that is equal to loss for him so here for one unsold copy there is the loss for 30 paise now here there are two conditions to calculate the conditional profit so first condition is that when demand is greater than or equal to supply so when demand is greater than or equal to supply then conditional profit is equal to uh, profit for uh, one sold copy that is 20 paise multiplied by the supplied copy or uh, supplied copy or we can say copies in stock so here 20 into supply and second condition is that when demand is less than supply so when demand is less than supply that means there is unsold copies that will remain in stock so we have to calculate this conditional profit that is equal to so here demand is less so all the demands are getting fulfilled and for that demand getting fulfilled we will get the profit of 20 paise so 20 multiplied by demand minus 30 multiplied by unsold copy so uh, there is the uh, loss for 30 paise for unsold copy so we have to calculate the number of unsold copies and we will multiply here with 30 paise now we will make here the conditional profit table now question is that the how many number of copies should be ordered by the newspaper boy that is how many number of copies should he have to keep in stock so for the possible stock we have to make the decision so this possible stock is alternative or strategy for us and in for these three alternatives we have to decide the best alternative for the highest possible profit and possible demand so this possible demand is the event or condition for us so possible demand is 10 11 and 12 this is mentioned in the question so possible demand is in between 10 and 12 so newspaper boy should keep in stock the number of copies not less than 10 and not more than 10 that is in between 10 and 12 so here alternatives are also 10 copies 11 copies and 12 copies we have to mention here probability also now we will calculate the 
conditional profit for this so what is the conditional profit so if we observe stock is 10 copies demand is also 10 copies that is demand is equal to supply so when demand is equal to supply then conditional profit 20 into supply that is 20 into 10 200 then here demand is greater than supply because demand is 11 and supply is 10 so here is also 20 into supply that is 10 that is here is 200 and for the third option also here will be 200 now we will move to the next so here demand is 10 copy supply is 11 copy so when demand 10 copy then all this demand is getting fulfilled and we will get the profit 10 multiplied by that is demand multiplied by 20 that is 10 multiplied by 10 200 that we will get the profit but there is one unsold copy so there is the loss of 30 paise for the one copy so we have to take minus 30 that is 170 then next here is demand 11 copies and uh, supply is also 11 copies so we have to take 20 into 11 that is 220 then here demand is 12 copy but supply is 11 copy so here demand is greater than supply so again 20 into 11 that is 220 then here demand is 10 copy supply is 12 copy so if we observe for this 10 copy demand is fulfilled and we will get the profit 20 into demand that is 200 20 into 10 that is 200 we will get the profit minus there are two unsold copies so for two unsold copies loss is 60 paise minus 60 that is 140 so here demand is 11 copy and uh, stock or the supply is 12 copy so for 11 copy we will get the profit because all the copies are getting sold so profit of 20 paise that is 20 multiplied by 11 220 minus there is one unsold copy so we will take minus 30 that is 190 then here 12 copies and 12 copies so for 12 copies uh, 20 into supply that is 20 into 12 so it is 240 now we will calculate expected profit table so how to calculate expected profit table so for 10 copies demand probability is given so whenever we keep in stock 10 copies 11 copies 12 copies but demand is for the 10 copies so for this 10 copy demand probability is given so we have to multiply here with 0.25 to all these values so 0.25 into 200 that is equal to 50 so we have to mention here it is 50 then 0 0.25 into 170 that is equal to 42.5 and then 0 0.25 into 140 that is 35 now in the same way for 11 copies demand probability is 0 0.35 so again 200 into 0 0.35 it is 70 then 220 into 0 0.35 it is 77 and 190 into 0 0.35 it is 66.5 now we will move to the next that is 200 into 0 0.40 so it is 80 then 0 0.40 into 220 so 220 into 0 0.40 that is 88 and 240 into 240 into 0 0.40 that is 96 now we have to add all these expected profit so we have calculated expected profit for all these stock now when the stock is 10 copies then what is the expected monetary value so expected monetary value is 50 plus 70 plus 80 
that is 200 then friends uh, stock is 11 copies then it is 42.5 plus 77 plus 88 that is 207.5 and when it is 12 copy stock then what is the expected profit that is 35 plus 66.5 plus 96 that is 197.5 now if we observe maximum expected profit is 207.5 so expected monetary value that is we have to compare all these expected monetary value and here maximum expected profit 207.5 so newspaper boy should order 11 copies for the maximum profit now we will apply second criterion to find out the number of copies should be ordered by the newspaper boy that is second criterion is expected opportunity loss in short it is known as EOL now what is the step by step procedure so first step we have to prepare the conditional profit table as we have prepared in earlier and then from this conditional profit table we have to prepare the conditional loss table and then we will prepare the expected loss table and when we prepare the expected loss table then we can calculate the expected opportunity loss and because this is the loss we have to keep the loss minimum so for minimum loss for each alter from each alternative we have to select and that will be our optimum value for the stock now the conditional profit table is already prepared so for, for the same question we will prepare the conditional loss table. So how to prepare the conditional loss table. So for each and every demand we have to find out what is the loss. Now if we observe the first possible demand is 10 copies. So when demand is 10 copy and supply is also 10 copies. Then this will be the or optimal alternative or for the demand of 10 copy best alternative is for the stock of 10 copies for the 200 paise but when the 11 copy stock is there then there is the loss loss of 30 paise and when the 12 copies stock is there then there is the loss of 60 paise for the demand of 10 copies now we will calculate here the loss so for this best option demand is 10 copy and stock is also 10 copy then there is no any loss so we will uh, find out this expected uh, loss from the stock so here will be expected loss from the stock by subtracting each number with the best alternative so here best alternative that is demand is 10 copies supply is also 10 copies and the value is or profit is 200 paise so for this 200 paise there is zero loss that is 200 minus 200 so here loss is zero and when demand is 10 copy supply is 11 copy then how to calculate loss that is this best alternative 200 paise minus 170 that is 30 paise then for 12 copies 200 minus 140 that is 60 paise now in the same way we will calculate the loss for the 11 copies so for the 11 copies what is the best alternative when demand is 11 copies and supply is also 11 copies then the best alternative is 220 paise that is here we have to take this value that is 220 minus 200 so for 10 copies we will calculate the loss 220 minus 200 that is 20 then 220 minus 12, 220 that is 0 and 220 minus 190 that is 30 then for the 12 copies when demand is 12 copy supply is also 12 copy then this is the best alternative and total uh, cost is there that is 240 so for that best alternative there is 240 paise so how to calculate the loss 
when 10 copies are there that is 240 minus 200 that is here will be 40 then 240 minus 220 that is 20 and here is 0 so this is the conditional loss table now we will calculate what is the expected loss table by multiplying with probability now we will take the reference of conditional loss table so for 10 copies the value first value is 0 that is there is no any loss for the demand of 10 copies so we have to multiply with probability so probability is 0 0.25 into 0 that is we will say here will be 0 then for the demand of 10 copies we have to select for the stock of 11 copies loss is 30 so 30 multiplied by 0 0.25 that is 7.5 and then 60 multiplied by 0 0.25 that is 50 now for the demand of 11 copies probability is 0 0.35 so for the loss of 20 so 20 multiplied by 0 0.35 it is 7 then here is 0 so we will write 0 and 30 multiplied by 0 0.35 that is 10.5 then for 12 copies here first value is 40 so 40 multiplied by 0 0.40 that is 60 then next is 20 so 20 into 0 0.40 that is 8 and next is 0 so here will be 0 now we will calculate expected opportunity loss so we have to find out the best alternative. So alternatives are 10 copies, 11 copies and 12 copies. So we have to add all these. So 16 plus 7 that is 23. Then 7.5 plus 8. 15.5 and 15 plus 10.5 that is 25.5. Now this is the expected opportunity loss so we have to keep the loss minimum so if we compare all these expected opportunity loss then this loss is minimum that is 15.5 so newspaper boy should order or should order the magazine copies that is equal to 11 so if we compare the value or the answer from the previous case that is expected monetary value then the answer is same so we can apply any method that is expected monetary value or expected opportunity loss answer is same that he should order the 11 copies of the magazine.